all, it was, I mean, I'm excited for the kids in this game. It was a tough game in the first half when we came out, and uh, we had a lot of a lot of penalties in the first half. You know, we came out in the second half and we just executed what we wanted to do without the penalties, and we scored, you know, 31 points. Coach, how was it playing behind the, the sticks the majority of the first half? Uh, it's not fun, you know. You call a play, it hits for 20, 30 yards, and then next thing you know, it's, it's first and 20 all the way back, you know. So um, the one thing I talk to my coaches about is just try to stick to the game plan. You know, if we just rattled off a 20-yard run and they got called back on holding, now it's first and 20, you know, just run the 20-yard run again. So it might hit, you know. So yeah, try to stick to our game plan. Coach, you showed how explosive this offense could be uh, in the second half, 31, uh, second check half. That, just talk about the game plan going into the nice game and how you guys were able to turn it around in the second half. We knew, uh, we knew, you know, we had a couple of coaches that used to coach over at Green Run. We knew, you know, including myself, I knew some of the kids. And they're, they're athletic kids over there, you know. They can run a lot of man-to-man -man stuff. So, uh, but we just thought we could just uh, – use our run game to really kind of just lean on them and, and eventually they break. And I think, like I said, that game plan just kind of ended up coming true in the second half, you know. Uh, those guys got tired of us just leaning on them, pushing them, big run, big run, five-yard run, you know. That gets, it's, it's tough. It's tough to play a whole game just kind of get pounded. I think we only threw the ball like maybe five times, so. Coach, uh, what is it like playing, having guys like Chapman, Brown and Grimes out there. How do you manage to get all three of those guys the ball? We have to be creative. Um, we also have to use them judiciously because um, two of those guys played both ways almost the entire games. Tony and uh, and uh, Secure did, and then uh, and Tyshawn ended up having to come in and play a significant amount of snaps in the second half because uh, of what we were doing, what the adjustment we made, and uh, we had an injury. One of our cornerbacks went down, so he came in. So uh, we got we to gotta kind of spread the love with them, you know, because they can all house it at any moment, you know. And we got, we got, some, uh, we got a line that can block, so we got to spread the love, you know, and spread it around. And that, it, it's good because they can't key on one person, you know. If we, if we put Doc in the back from backfield, uh, Tyshawn, you know, he, he, can, he can rattle off a big run. He had an 80-yard run tonight that got called back, you know, on a hold, or a 70-yard run called back on a hold, you know. That, you'll never see that, but, you know, that's how, I mean, that's how explosive we are. Moving forward, you guys improved to 6-2 and two tonight. Lakes Week, I believe you have Lansdowne. We have Lansdowne and Tallwood, yep. What are your expectations on ending the season, and how excited are you about entering, getting ready for the playoffs? Uh, you know, we don't want to focus on the playoffs yet. We just want to focus on going 1-0 and this next week. You know, um, I keep telling the kids, if we went out, we might host the playoff game here. And that hasn't happened. There's this theme this year. Of, it's things that haven't happened in 20 years. And that hasn't happened in 20 years. So I want to continue that theme and have give these fans, you know, a playoff game. Something that they can remember. Give these seniors a home playoff game. You know, guys like Isaiah Roberts, who's, you know, put blood, sweat, and tears in this program and haven't had a whole, haven't had a winning season. You know, their best season was five and six and they had an away playoff game. So that's just what I want them to focus on. We got an extremely tough Lansdowne team that we're playing next week. They're very physical. We know it's going to be a, a tough matchup. Then we got Tallwood the following week, you know, both uh, Division Six teams and we want to take it on. We're, we, we embrace the challenge, you know. Coach, I'll get you out of here on this. This year, you guys have been very successful. What has surprised you about your success this year? Um, just the resiliency to get through some of these close games. You know, uh, we, we don't, we're, we're pretty thin. You know, we got, we don't have a lot of guys and our, our, our guys got to play both ways. And, you know, our guys have been able to play both ways at a high level. Um, our defense has really come on strong since pretty much after the Salem game, um, you know, we're really taking care of business. So my, my, the thing that has surprised me the most was just our resiliency in these close, close games to just remain focused and, and just stick to our plan and be able to execute it even when our guys are, you know, real tired.